Hey, it's Sean KN4ZMA here, and uh, I've got my uh, Yesu FT890 that I recently got to get into the hobby and wanted to uh, start with some of the digital modes, but uh, there's not a lot out there I could find on how to hook it up to my computer. I also wanted cat control, ended up buying a cable online and that didn't work out well. And I found out I could just build one on my own for way cheaper, so I wanted to share that information here. First thing needed is a USB sound card. The one I got has a TRRS connector, meaning that the the video or the audio and the in and out are both on the same cable instead of split out. Uh, next thing is uh, you need basically an aux cord. Uh, in this case, I've got. TRS uh, for the computer side and TRS for the radio side uh, because this side takes stere stereo in, this side is mono out uh, from the radio. Uh, I've got the pinouts of this cable right here. On the radio side, uh, the tip is mic, the output is the middle one, and root, uh, the root one is ground. On the computer side, um, the root one is the microphone, next is ground, and then two speakers. It uh, doesn't really matter which one you pick because you're probably, your software is going to do it as mono, so they're all the same. And then all you're doing is doing ground to ground, and then speaker to mic, mic to speaker. I got these guys off of, I think, Amazon. They're just uh, screw connectors, and this is an old piece of Ethernet. So you can see. Uh, TRRS, meaning the tip ring ring sleeve, and then the TRS tip ring sleeve. You probably want to ignore the raised uh, lettering on those things because uh, in the case of, of this one it lies. It says the root is microphone and the next one up is, uh, sorry, it says the root is ground, the next one up is microphone, but it's actually the opposite way around. So with that you, you just plug the, uh, the USB um, speaker to the USB audio to your computer, uh, plug this guy in, and then plug this to the data port of your radio, uh, and you're good to go. Um, you can actually use the Vox, the Vox setting instead of push to talk. I had wired up push to talk here uh, going to a relay, uh, but never ended up using it because Vox worked so fine. Then I wanted to get cat control working. Uh, as I said earlier, I ended up buying a cable for about 20 bucks, and it didn't work. Turns out it had the wrong voltages. The, the Yesu FT890 and some other models use uh, 5 volt TTL logic, um, but standard serial, so really all you need is a level converter. I happen to have this guy around. I bought it off eBay a few years ago. I just looked, it's two bucks, uh, two and change. It's a simple USB uh, in, TTL out. It can do 5 or 3.3 volts, but uh, you want 5, 3.3 uh, doesn't work. And then this is a uh, six pin mini DIN connector that I uh, can't really see it well. That I think I bought off of Amazon or eBay. Uh, you solder up some wires and I crimped them into DuPont connectors because I wasn't sure if I'd get it right the first time. But anyway, the, the wiring is straight from the manual. I can pop up uh, something. Uh, if you look at the back of the connector, you're interested in the uh, ground, uh, I believe this is uh, the transmit and receive or the other way around. Either way, um, you want to wire it up so that um, the serial the, the serial out uh, serial out from the cat control, which is uh, this guy, uh, sorry that guy goes to the receive on on the, the chip and you can see they're all marked there. Uh, crimp those on, plug it in and it uh, shows up as a USB port and you've got cat control. The radio doesn't need any uh, fancy settings to uh, turn it into cat mode. You just uh, turn it on, plug it in and uh, go. I, I did notice that uh, if I had it all plugged in and turned on the radio that the radio didn't uh, come up with a frequency or anything and it couldn't receive. So for some reason I've got to uh, start with it unplugged and then plug it in. But that's no problem. Um, after that it works great.